here's someone who found his way into the upper echelons of the surveillance state, right? And came from nowhere. Came from, had a GED, right? He, 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 he washed out of uh, training, I think, when he, he tried to join the army um, uh, after an injury. He got a GED, and yet he ends up in this position of tremendous power. And in some ways, I mean, that is a testament to something, right? right. I mean, that he wasn't, that he didn't check all the boxes. So if I grow up in a middle class family, like I did, with parents who are both working, working. hard, like they did, who can't afford SAT tutors, yep. can't, who, can't, who can't afford to send a kid it. off to SAT camp, I mean, what chances do I have today of competing when people are going to be looking at, well, so-and-so went to Yale or Harvard or That's Dartmouth. And came from nowhere. Came from, and had a GED. I mean, that is a testament to something. What you're pointing out is precisely the way in which the game, which we think of as a fair game, right? That we have this kind of equal opportunity and people by their gut, their, their grit and their gumption and their talent and their brains work their way up. But in fact, right, all of these privileges cascade down from folks who have access to things like task prep or have early uh, tutoring and things like that as opposed money. to kids. Money, right, exactly.